Cycling has a lot of benefits, and I mean a lot. Keeps you fit, you get to go fast, you get the freedom, you get the cafe stops, you get to travel, the list goes on. But cycling isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Oh, things can go a lot worse than you expected when you left the comfort of your own home. Oh, crashes, punctures, getting soaked with rain. Oh, it doesn't all go to plan, does it? Oh. You've had a terrible day, haven't you, Connor? Man, I've had an absolute nightmare of a day, and it didn't finish any better, really, than it started. Well, in this video, we're going to shine some light on those moments worth forgetting about, in hope you can try and avoid them. Just don't try being like Connor. Oh, I had the last coffee at the cafe, too. They haven't got any more coffee in, sorry. Oh. I hope you didn't want one. Well, that's it. That's finished me. I've loaded my ride man on, and I tell you what, I got a power PB on that ride. Really? Yeah. What if I did? Yeah. I'm really proud of myself. What? Oh, it's no. gone. It didn't. You haven't lost it, have you? I, I definitely saved it. Oh no. This has to be the number one worst way to end a big ride, especially for me anyway. When you've hacked away for hours, you've been sprinting for those segments, pushing it up the climb, doing power numbers that your friends are going to be impressed with. You get home from your ride, you click upload, but the file isn't there. It's gone, it's vanished. There's nothing worse, is there? And the thing is, if it's not online, it doesn't count. It's not online, it doesn't true. count. Yeah, all yeah. that hard work. No way to prove it, man, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go back out and do it all again. I'll tell you what, man, I'm one of the best ways to finish a ride is when you stop at your favorite cafe oh, stop. Oh yeah, I like, love a cafe stop. Do. What are you oh, going to go for today? I'll tell you what, I'm getting some carrot cake. Maybe three slices. Three? Mm, and plenty oh, of coffee. Geez. Of course, of course, coffee. But equally, one of the worst things that can happen is when you get to your cafe and it's closed. Oh, no. Oh, Connor, it, it's happened. Oh, no. Devastating moment when the cafe's shut. The next cafe's 10 miles away. I'm not going to make it. Oh, one of the third worst ways to end a ride has got to be finishing on top of a climb. Definitely. I, I lived on top of a climb once and there's just no flat way home. Had to go up a 10% climb just to get home. There's nothing worse than zigzagging your way up a climb at the end of a ride, legs in pieces, suffering so much. It's got to be one of the worst ways to finish a ride. And it was one of those climbs where you had to put a fair amount of power in just to get up. You, you just couldn't go easy. And the last 10 minutes for me should be a nice easy cool down, not getting your heart rate after 180. Oh, I've walked up a climb once. Really? Yeah, I did a froom. In fact, come on. Are you right, Connor? Oh. Oh. Wait for me, man. On. Come on. <sighs> Next up, there's nothing better than going out on your bike in the nice dry weather. Let's just say I'm a fair weather rider. Oh, you, Connor? Me too, man. I'm yeah. my only ride in the dry these days. I mean, there's nothing worse than heading out on your bike thinking it's going to be a nice bright day, sunshine, dry weather, and then 10 minutes from home, the heavens open and it pours down. Talk <laughs> and I was about to say that actually, talking of which, time for a rain cape, I think. Forgot my cape. I mean, you could borrow mine, it's probably oh, too thanks. big for you. No, no, it'll be fine. Thank you sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. And what's worse, wet, muddy roads make a nice clean bike absolutely filthy. Not only that, but you end up looking like a drowned rat. You well, do. I do anyway. You do. And the last 10 minutes of your ride on all those muddy roads, well, you're going to have to clean your bike just because yeah. of those 10 minutes. Stand out in the rain, washing your bike. Adding chores to the list. Hard work being a cyclist. It is. There is nothing worse than bonking on a ride. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term bonking, it's when you completely run out of energy, you feel like you can't pedal anymore, and you're never ever going to get home. Thankfully, it doesn't really happen to me anymore. I've got quite good at not bonking. Yeah, I think we've all been there, haven't we? Bonking, I mean, it is a brutal experience. I remember when I was 16, I bonked so bad at the end of a ride, I just got off into the verge and lied down. Called my mum to pick me up. She couldn't find me, so... It was a long three hour wait. Old lady took sympathy on me and made me a cup of tea. Oh, I think I'm bonking now as well. 
Now ending your ride with a crash is a pretty terrible way to end a ride. And I probably shouldn't admit this, but I actually did finish my ride with a crash once. It was very embarrassing. I tried to jump onto a kerb and totally messed it up, ended up on the floor. There was cars around people, people on the pavement, and they all started staring at me. And I had to get back up on my bike and pretend I was absolutely fine, but I was, I was not okay. Jeez, Connor, you all right? What happened there? Oh, crashing isn't ideal at any point in your ride. So please do try to avoid this and especially pay attention when you get into the end of your ride. Oh, sore in the morning after that one. Hands up if you've had a mechanical when you're out on your bike. Oh, me. Yeah, Lots. I mean, it's bound to happen to you at some point in your cycling journey, be it a snap chain from too much power. Do not lie, it's not happened to you. Yeah, it's never actually happened to me, that one. But I have had a lot of punctures, I tell you. Yes, lots of punctures. And it's absolutely devastating. When you're out on your bike, you're enjoying it, you're motivated to get it done, and then it ends. Because you've got a puncture and you've run out of tubes. And you have to sit on the side of the road and ring for help. You are right, Connor? Punctured, man. On. You got a puncture? Yeah, punctured. Ah. Uh, well, I'm going to carry on because... Man, I haven't got a pump. It's Wait for me. Man, I need a pump. It's not too bad when you get mechanical in a village with a nice cafe, but when you're in the middle of nowhere and it's raining, it's rather miserable. Nothing else for it. I have to walk home, aren't I? You decided to puncture on me after all we've been through. All we've been through. <sighs> Are you sure this is the way, man? On. Uh, I think so, it's where my maps is telling me to go. It looks like a bigger road on the map, on the route you showed me. Yeah. Oh, There's nothing worse than getting lost out on a ride, especially when you're getting close to the end, is there? I know. I mean, I hate to break it to you, Connor, but I've run out of water and run out of food. I'm not sure I'm going to make it home. I know, I mean, you said this ride would be two hours long. It's already turned into a four-hour ride. I'm going to ring a taxi. I'm shattered, yeah. Let's get a taxi. There's nothing else for it. What a rubbish ride. <sighs> I mean, if you'd planned it a little better, we wouldn't have got lost, would we? You plan it next time. Now, we've only just scratched the surface on this, but I bet you guys have encountered some gems when out on your bike. The more obscure, the better. So please let us know in the comments section below, what's the worst way you've ever ended a ride? But, um, well, me and Manon have actually finished on quite a high note today. Yeah, yeah. cheers. Cheers, Manon. Got a little white chocolate number there that I'm going to enjoy. Chin chin. <laughs>